In this paper, we introduce a new reliable visual dormitory algorithm for estimating frame-to-frame -frame relative displacement of a ground vehicle, equipped with a surround view multi-camera system. Such systems often include four fisheye cameras pointing into the forward, backward, and sideways directions. Please note that our lab has three papers at ICRA 20, which are on very related topics. Besides the present work on visual dormitory, we also have a work on calibration and another contribution on visual dormitory in the indicated papers. For further information on our research on related topics, you are invited to visiting our webpage. Autonomous driving represents a significant technological development with potentially very strong impact in several domains. Regular video cameras are cost-effective sensors which have already become part of the standard sensing equipment of modern cars. Modern vehicles often equipped with a surround wheel multi-camera system, and the current interest in autonomous driving invests the investigation of how to use such systems for a reliable estimation of relative vehicle displacement. So why using multi-camera system? That is because it has stronger resilience to texture poor situations comparing with perspective observation. Furthermore, this vision-only system is good at resolving motion ambiguity for translation versus rotation. As shown in this figure, we can see that, comparing with pinhole camera system, if increasing the camera's field of view, the flow field caused by translational and rotational motion become very distinctive. And as the final benefit, it can produce the measurement in metric scale even there is no internal overlap in the camera's field of view. Non-overlapping surround view camera systems are described by the generalized camera model. While a number of successful works have already been presented, the conclusion is that no method is all-powerful and able to handle the possibly non-holonomic planar vehicle motion. Some of methods have substantial computational complexity or require too many samples thus leading to unstable result under noise, or rely on the ideal assumption of a fixed steering angle. Our contributions are as follows. We present the first generalized relative post solver for general planar vehicle motion and non-overlapping multi-camera systems. We also present a novel two-wheel optimization scheme based on a new univariate objective function. I will quickly explain the notations and prior assumptions that are used throughout this paper. We assume that we have an intrinsically and extrinsically calibrated multi-camera system. Considering two consecutive frames, let fij and f'ij be the unibearing vectors pointing at the same 3D world point pi from the j's camera at the first and second frame. Let RCJ and TCJ be the extrinsic parameters from the camera to the common body frame B. Let TB and RB furthermore denote the relative poles of the body frame between two subsequent view points. We also define TC underscore J and RC underscore J be the equivalent transformation parameters seen from camera J. We start by a brief review of epipolar geometry. The epipolar incidence relationship is given by this simple equation. For estimating general planar motion for non-overlapping multi-camera systems, we can use the non-extrinsic rotation, RCJ, to rotate all the observed unibearing vectors of each camera into a frame that is still centered at camera CJ but has a similar orientation than the local body frame. We can thus obtain an alternative multi-camera system, which is shown in red on the figure. It can be easily observed that all the new epipolar plane normal vectors expressed in the body frame still span a plane that is orthogonal to the translation TJ. By using the constraint above, 
the relative rotation Rb can be derived by this equation, which lambda mj denotes the smallest eigenvalue of matrix mj. Because Rb only contains one rotating angle along that axis, this univariate objective function can be regarded as a nonlinear problem, and it can be efficiently solved by implementing a lemonberg marquardt scheme. As I stated before, rotation translation ambiguity can easily lead to local minima in the algebraic objective arrow, especially if they have a very limited field of view. In an aim to solve this problem, we introduce an object space arrow based iterative refinement step. It is to be understood as an efficient replacement of two wheel bound adjustment. We define the object space arrow as the distance d between the rays fij and f'ij. Hat tcj represents the direction of the relative translation. The optimization problem is finally given as follow. It is easily to see that it can again be minimized by solving the iterative reweighted eigenvalue minimization problem of this equation. And it still depends on only relative rotation Rb. In order to recover the translation in absolute scale, we start by formulating the hand-eye calibration constraint for camera CJ inside the multi-camera system. Thus, we got this simple equation. After compensate for each camera's extrinsic rotation RCJ, we can get this simpler constraint. Then, all pairwise constraints can be grouped into a linear problem AX equal to B, which lambda stands for the scale factor. Such problem can be solved by a singular value decomposition. We test our algorithm on both simulated and real data. Both qualitative and quantitative results are provided and compare against the previous relative post solver for both generalized camera and centralized single camera algorithms. We execute different comparative simulation experiments to evaluate accuracy over different motion types and variation of the field of view. We also evaluate the noise resilience, the performance of proposed object space error based nonlinear refinement, and the performance when embedded into a RANSAC scheme. The results demonstrate that our method outperforms other methods. We conclude with a continuous frame-to-frame -frame motion estimation demonstrates on both small-scale indoor and large-scale outdoor datasets captured by a four-camera system mounted on either a turtle boat or a full-size car. Ground truth for the indoor sequence is delivered by a highly accurate external motion capture system. All methods are embedded into a RANSAC scheme and applied on a frame-to-frame -frame basis. All experiments are conducted on a regular desktop. This figure shows our results obtained on the indoor dataset and compares with other algorithms. We do not add a multi-frame backend optimization module, such as a sliding window bound adjustment, as this permits the observation of the original performance of each method. The trajectories all suffer from slow error accumulation. Our algorithm ME clearly outperforms others.